there you go now you have the numbers as well uh, along with the text and the slider hey everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to use sliders using PyVisual so let's get started So the very first thing we will do, we will go to PyVisual and we will make sure that we have a new project and we will name it Slider. Then on the left hand side, you will see inputs and in the inputs, you have a new field that is sliders. If you click on that, you will see all these different sliders. So let's say we add a few of them, uh, the designs that we like let's add a few more and let's do one more there you go okay so we have all these sliders that we can work with and uh, one thing to note here is that if you want to open up the settings then you click on the side of it there is a bounding box around it you basically click on the side but if you want to change the actual value you can click on the knob and move it around okay before we get into the technical details let's just link it we are going to link it to our folder here we are going to create a new directory by the name slider and we are going to copy the path reference and here we are going to paste it so this is uh, connection established and now we will update it to make sure that the files are transferred and then we can simply go to the slider open it up and we can run it so there we have it so this is the exact same thing that we added so as you can see we can move around each of these and we can even click uh, on certain positions and it will directly take us over there and it doesn't have to be perfectly on the knob. Uh, you can play around with this. You can see even if you are close to it, it will still work. So uh, within that bounding region. Uh, so that's the basic idea. So now how exactly can we work with this? Let's pick one of these and remove the others. There you go. Let's center it and let's update this. So now we have just one slider and we will make some changes to it. So the very first thing, if you, as I mentioned before, you can click on it on the side a little bit and that will open up the settings. And the first thing we have is the width and the height. So the width and height is of the bounding box. So if I increase the height, it will not actually increase the height of the slider. It will increase the height of the bounding box. But if you increase the width, it will actually increase the width of the slider. So that's the basic idea. Now, if you wanted to increase or decrease the track height, then we can do that too. I will explain how we can do that. Okay, now moving on, a slider consists of only two things. One is the track and the other is the knob. So the track is the one at the back and the knob is the one that you hold and move. So the track, all the settings of the tracks uh, are here and all the settings of the knob are over here. So that's pretty simple. So if we go to the track, for example, you can see the track color is right now this light purple. Uh, let's change that to, let's say green, make it a little bit darker. There you go. It's a little bit dark green. Uh, then we have the track height. So if you wanted to change the height, you can change it from here. So there you go. I can move around and increase and decrease the track height. So there you go. For example, I will use this. Uh, then let's make it a little bit bigger. Then we also have the fill color. So this area is the fill. So we can change that to, let's say, red. There you go. Now it becomes red. And then we have the track border color. So right now there is no border around it, but we can add a border. For example, uh, this is the track border thickness. So we can increase that. There you go. Now we have a border. And then, of course, we can select the color uh, that we require. So, for example, we can say we need, let's say, a little bit of a darker green. Uh, something like that. Okay. So, uh, then moving on we have the 
uh, corner radius. So I can increase or decrease the corner radius. So right now it's square. And um, if I wanted to, I can change the corner radius. You can see I can increase it and make it curved. So that's the basic idea of our track. So let's update this and see if it will work properly uh, in our program. Let's run that. And there you go. So pretty much all the settings that we applied, you can see uh, we have here. And then if we go back, uh, we can also change the knob settings. So the knob, we can increase the width of it. Sometimes you have knobs that are you know big. Then you have the height. You can increase and decrease the height of it. And then you have the knob color. So let's make it orangish. There you go, a bit orangish. And then we have the hover color as well. So right now the hover color, uh, let's change that to, let's say dark orangish, right? So if I hover now, you can see it becomes dark orangish. Uh, then we have um, the knob border color. So the border thickness, you can see it's white. So let's change that to red, let's say, and uh, we can increase and decrease the border thickness and the corner radius of it. So again, you have a lot of possibilities with this. So you can pretty much make uh, any design that you require. And you can see we have created a few designs for you. And you can see some of them are already here. So let's update that and see if the knob works properly. Let's run that and there you go. So now looks amazing, right? <laughs> So uh, that being said, uh, now we can, yeah, one more feature that we have is the text. So if you click on that, you can also display the numbers. So here you can see it's showing the numbers. Uh, to adjust it, you can increase the height of it. And there you go. Now the height is fine. And now what you can do is you can play around with the values of this. So for example, I want a different font. I can uh, use that. There you go. And then if I wanted a different size, I can increase, decrease that. I can make it bold and uh, italic and all of that good stuff. And then you have the font color. Let's make it red. And there you go. So now if I move it, you can see I have this. And the same thing, if I update it, it will update right about here. So there you go. Now you have the numbers as well, uh, along with the text and the slider. So that's the basic idea of how you can use sliders. Now let's move on to how you can code it. So the rest of the settings are pretty much the same. Uh, this is the minimum. So here you can, for example, change it to, let's say 50. So 50 is the minimum. The current value, let's say is 100. Uh, and the maximum, let's say is 200. So that's the minimum and maximum range you can add. And then of course you can push it back, bring it forward, change the opacity of it and all of that good stuff. Uh, so that being said, let's move on to how exactly can you code it. So now we'll go to PyCharm and we will learn how exactly can we code this. So as always, we are going to start with our attach events and we need to know the name of this. So if we look at the code, uh, we can see the name is slider underscore zero. So we will use that name. And the first thing is that we will say within UI uh, in page underscore zero, there is a slider underscore zero. And whenever there is a change in it, call a function. So on change, change equals, uh, let's say do something and this do something will be our function that we will add in our logic part and this will have a value returning by default so we have a value and what we can do is we can simply print this value to see what exactly are we getting so if we run this now this is our value 103 if there is a change there you go it becomes a 105. So it's printing the value. So right now it's 170, it's one, it's showing 170. So 
Now you can get the value of uh, your slider and then you can perform any functions on it uh, using this on change method. So that's basic idea of how exactly uh, can you work with sliders. So there's a lot of options uh, and this opens up a lot of possibilities of what exactly can you build with this. So I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions about the sliders, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.